Hi, I'm Cassandra, and what you see here is not a simple face mask. It connects me to the internet, enhance my voice, and translate into eight different languages. Japan is obsessed with robots, gadgets, and AI. And I am going to find out why. My name is Cassandra Bo, and today I'm on a mission for DW Shift. 你好，我的名字叫凯婷，我从新加坡来，今年会在日本住一下子。Any idea what I just said? Stay tuned to find out. But let's start from the beginning. This is my new home, Tokyo. I moved here from the island country, Singapore, almost a year ago. Only a few weeks after COVID-19 hit Japan. What a crazy start! Wearing a face mask. For me, quite an adjustment. For the Japanese, not so much. Even before the pandemic, people have been wearing masks, mainly when they're sick, so as to protect others. Maybe that's why the number of people affected by COVID-19 has been lower than in many other countries. Just after a few months with COVID-19, face masks have also turned into fashion items that are trending on social media. Buying a stylish face mask in Tokyo, this is pretty easy. And I'm actually standing in a shop right now that is just dedicated to selling masks. People have gotten very creative, different styles, different functions, like masks that cut out UV rays, masks that keeps your face warm and cool, and then there are masks that apparently makes your face look slimmer. I wonder how that works. But now a new generation of face masks takes it to a whole new level. Currently, developers everywhere are working hard to turn masks into high-tech gadgets. They are supposed to purify the air and filter or even destroy bacteria and viruses. The mask that caught my attention may not look that fancy, but it has some pretty mind-blowing features. According to its developers, it helps improve communication between people. While practicing social distancing, right after the COVID-19 outbreak in Japan in January 2020, Donut Robotics set out to develop a prototype for your face mask that connects to the internet. It's basically a smartphone for your face. And of course, I definitely want to find out more about how this mask works. Just follow me. Donut Robotics is based in Tokyo. There are only a handful of people working for the startup, but the CEO has some very ambitious goals. He wants to change the world with robot technology. My name is Taisuke Ono, and I'm working for the company Donut Robotics. In the last five years, our goal has been producing a small-sized robot called Cinnamon. Recently, we developed the world's first smart mask by implementing the technology of our robot Cinnamon into a smart gadget for your face. That sounds like a pretty futuristic version of a face mask, and here is how it works. First, the smart mask has to be attached to a regular surgical mask. Before I put this on, I actually gotta put this on first. So yeah, I. For a mask, I gotta put another layer of mask, which is a little bit、um, time-consuming right for me right now, because <laughs> I'm still trying to put one ear in. All right, it's now ready to be worn. Okay, while I get things sorted out, let's have a look at the tech. The mask has an embedded microphone, and it connects to a smartphone app via Bluetooth. The app allows the wearer to connect to other phones while speaking. It can amplify the wearer's voice for better understanding, and it also transcribes and translates speech, so the translations are displayed by both text and voice on other devices. I fixed it. We're good now. Let's try it. How does it look on me? Honestly, having to wear the C face over a medical mask was a bit of a hassle for me. But to be fair, it looked a lot easier when Taisuke Ono put it on. The one feature I'm super interested in is the translation function. Even before moving to Japan, I knew I wouldn't be able to speak Japanese fluently overnight. Obviously, it would take me quite a while. I wonder if, in the meantime, I could survive with this. It actually translates to eight different languages. My Japanese is still pretty basic, so this could be really helpful when I'm out shopping. 
going to the convenience store, eating, or just asking for directions on the street. I'm Cassandra, and I'm from Singapore. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let me try one more. I feel like having sukiyaki today. Sounds about right, I think, in my um, basic Japanese knowledge. So it's pretty good. Let's try another language. I'm going to try this in Mandarin now, in Chinese. So let's see. 你好,我的名字叫凱婷,我從新加坡來。Mm, not bad. Did you understand it? <laughs> translation is pretty accurate. I would definitely use this translation function. It's really useful. I can switch around from English to Mandarin and still get it translated in Japan. I'm quite impressed, especially since Donut Robotics pulled this off not even within a year. Originally, the startup was working for five years on launching a social robot just in time for the 2020 Olympics. So why did they end up developing a face mask? Well, because of COVID-19, the Olympic Games have been postponed. Having to wait another year to launch their robot would have ruined the small startup. I think we would have had to close the company within three months and lay off the team. So Taisuke Ono and his team quickly modified the technology of Cinnamon and came up with the C-Face. The pre-sales have already started. The first 5,000 pieces will go out in March. The price? 4,378 yen, plus fees for the minutes and translation services. Taisuke Ono wants to show me another feature. It's pretty clear. It's pretty impressive. He's like five meters away and could understand everything he said. Well, maybe not everything. It's Japanese, sorry. Yeah. For now, the mask is only available in Japan. But Taisuke Ono told me there is a lot of interest from countries in Europe as well as from China and the US. And Donut Robotics is already working on the next generation, implementing AR and VR technology. We are entering the 5G era now. People will have more direct and quicker access to information in the future. Our new model will display this information similar to VR glasses, for example, maps or translations. As well as music and games. Pretty smart. So this mask has a good chance of outliving the pandemic. Even though I do think there are still some details that need improvement, I am overall impressed by its performance. I do think this mask has a lot of potential. So what do you think of the sea face? Do you like it? Is it practical for you, for your daily usage? Let us know in the comments. Uh, I'm about to meet. Sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Right after the COVID 19 outbreak. Sorry, hold on. <laughs>